I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> so, about the other day. Yagami-chan, Yagami-chan, I think one of my most important things for an idol is the right hairstyle. Yagami-chan, what do you think about my hair? <laughs> Thanks, these are called half pigtails. That's so nice of you to say, Yagami-chan. I'm going to be the idol that totally rocks this hairstyle. Nee, nee. Yagami Tan, you and Moraikai talk a lot. So we've heard, we've already read that one. Okay, I think we can't do any more. So if we go back in, back out and then go back out in, should I say, then it will probably give us new dialogue. What's up, Mio-chan? I don't think I've ever seen you so down. A bunch of my private stuff is going around on Chatter. What does that mean? Chatter like the social media platform. What kind of stuff? Like what time I wake up, what shows I watch, even how often I go to the bathroom. Huh? Huh? Are you serious? That's horrifying. There might be a stalker peeping in my room. I'm super not okay. Well, you are quite popular, Mio-chan. Could some obsessive fan be the one doing the peeping? No way, my fans would never do anything like that. They're all so wonderful. Hmm. I mean, if you say so, but I'm still worried about you. I'm honestly so shaken that I think I might move. Life is hard. Mew-chan, I'm here. Whoa. Milky, Milky Senpai, you came. Milky Senpai. Well, yeah, I promised, and I, I say, I said I'd stop by your place for some drinks. I, I, I'm incredibly thrilled. Thank you so much, Mom. Mm -hmm. Huh, Mio Chan, you just completely shifted your tone. Milky Hoshi Gashi, Hoshi. Gasaki Senpai is one of the greatest and more res mo most respected underground idols that there is. My other Senpai is said to speak formally around her. Hmm. Formally? Well, can't say I understand. Miu has this idol Senpai who's all about the military. So yeah, that Senpai Commando basically drilled this whole manner of speech into her. 
she was never any good at being proper to begin with so the results have been a little weird huh. no kidding what's your name by the way it's me I'm Yagami one of Mio Chan's customers well Yagami san please give Mio Chan all the support you can spend a little cash on her at the bar but me Milky Senpai, I'm very grateful for your thoughtful words, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. By the way, Mio chan, whatever happened with your stalker situation? Oh, right, ma'am. That still hasn't been solved yet, ma'am. I see. We were actually just talking about that. Since those underground idols are more involved and up close with the fans, stuff like this happens sometimes. I also had a stalker follow me once and there was this other time where I came home and found a fan in my house with a knife. Psychopath fan. Yeah. What? Sad face. Mio-chan, you need to keep a shy, sharp eye out, okay? Any fan come to mind that sticks out as a red flag. Yeah. My, my fans are all good people. I don't believe any of them would ever stalk me, ma'am. Jeez, you're too soft for your own good, Mio-chan. This whole stalker thing is scary as hell. I think it might be this guy that wants to fucking buy her the whole world. You become better friends with Mio. You should get some fresh air, big guy. Hmm. All right, good points. I'll stop by again. Another fight, another adventure. Sorry guys, but Yagami's a little too drunk. This is a little hack that I've done to speed up the school story. I won't say it's a hack, it's a method. But it's a quicker way to obviously get closer with it. Oh, you did a bit too much there, mate. He was already on the ground. Yagami's like, but I want to beat him up more. Oh, well, you've got your chance. With this guy. Haven't played against a purple guy in a while on his own. But we've just destroyed him. Fair enough. Well, that was made to look a lot easier than we have been doing against him. Alright. Where's that noise coming from? Actually, I could hear that through the headset again. It's like someone's banging on the door, isn't it? Yeah. Which direction? I honestly don't know. Or is it next door banging to shut, like, keep the noise down or something? Is that what they're doing? Are they like, um,. Fuck is that? That's crazy, that is. You chan. Yagami chan, so what do you want to drink? What should I get? Wanna try this? Cheers. 
Now we're talking. Got a question. Is any of your is this house connected to another one? Yeah. Which way? Um the house next door, not Sarah and Keith's side, the other side. But it wouldn't be that loud, would it? What do you mean? Like you wouldn't hear it from here through headsets and stuff, would you, if they were banging the walls or something? Monk can hear it obviously from her room. So yeah. Sounds like a, a door banging, if anything. <laughs> That's what happened. No, no, no. Narodo. Hmm. No, no, no. Mm, I haven't f been feeling so great lately. I think I'm just peeped from studio practice. Okay, this is the food one. Some spooky shit is going on in the background, guys. I know I'm very distracting, but it is some fucking weird ass shit going on in the background. What have we got here? Right, let's keep going. Let's have a drink together. Cheers. I'm starting to feel it. What's amazing is... <laughs> hmm... Again, if we leave and come back, it should I'll stop progress that. the, what you call it, the story. So we will do that. Definitely a cold breeze by here. Can you feel that? Yeah. It's weird, that is. That is actually very strange, man. That's insane. Yagami-chan. Yagami-chan, glad to see you again, Mio-chan. Any news on the stalker since last time? Yeah, about that, I actually moved only well. Don't tell me. Is someone still leaking your info? Mm. Yeah, it's actually getting even worse, like exactly what time and where I'm going or what movie I watched. Which public bathroom I used or where I go to read in public? Huh? Oh, wow. Those are some serious details. 
you ever catch anyone suspicious looking at you, you keep your curtains up at home. I've been trying to be extra careful lately, but no, no one's suspicious. I keep all my curtains and blinds shut. I'm super scared. Even still, how the hell does the culprit know everything she does wherever she goes? Is someone listening in on her? Maybe someone bugged something she carries on her all the time? Could be the case if she was at home or anywhere else. It's the perfect way to eavesdrop on a whim. Hey. Mio-chan, have you got a favourite bag? Oh, yeah. oh, totes. Here, let me show you. This one's my favourite. There's a bunch of people around. How about we head outside and have a look? Hey, do you remember that person that we... It was like, I think it's the exact same fucking um, place, you know. But we kept seeing a or, and hearing a uh, tracker being on a, on a bag that was made by the professor. I wonder if this is another one of those where it's like a tracker made by the professor again. Because that was what we found last time and it was like a woman was wearing red. But it might have been a completely different... Um, bar, but it was the same kind of thing. There's a bunch of people around. How about we head outside and have a look? Okay, let's take a closer look with the detector. Okay. I'm getting a response coming from nearby, but it's not coming from the bag. Here we go. Bingo. It's her shoes instead. Her shoes, maybe? Could those be bugged? Mio Chan, are those your favourite shoes? Oh, yeah. Totes. They always put me in the best mood. Do you wear them out often? Yep, you'll always catch me wearing these. They're just so comfy. Hmm, the shoes, huh? Which means there's a chance we're being listened to right now. Stop messing around, man. I'm trying to do a stream. Bruh. Stop doing that shaking thing with the door. No ghost is going to stop me from streaming, mate. Which means there's a chance we're being listened to right now. We've got to act natural for the time being. <laughs> Those are some cute shoes. Thanks, Yagami Tam. You've got some. You you've got good taste. If I'm going to warn her about the shoes, I need to convince her to take them off and step away from them. Then I can safely tell her about the bug the bug from a distance. Mio Chan. Mio Chan. Hmm, what is it? Ah, you've been bugged. Sorry to ask, but take your shoes off and we'll talk somewhere further away. Did you like that, did you? It's like, stop fucking irritating me now. <laughs> At this point, the ghost... It's all shaking, because that's what it sounds like in Ben's room as well. Yeah. It's the, uh, I think it's the living room door shaking. What do you mean? I said, oh man, go away. I said, not to you. Oh, right, yeah. I didn't hear you because obviously headset and stuff. It's almost like the fucking living room door shaking on its own. And obviously there's a lot of air coming out of that hallway. Yeah, but even the bathroom window's not open. Yeah. But if you go by that hallway, the air, man, yeah. is crazy. Actually is. Mio Chan, what are those shoes? I borrowed them from one Say again. Just ignore it, but Oh yeah I am. It's just irritating, isn't it, when you're trying to stream and the fucking ghost interruption by shaking the fucking 
That's what's happening though. It's um, the living room doors shaking. Yeah. Well, it did that when I was in mum's room. The living room doors closed, uh, open. Yeah. Because there was a knocking noise, and then obviously, in the last half an hour, it's been like a shaking noise, isn't it? Like a rattling noise. I borrowed them from one of the girls while I left her a note saying I would. Right. Yagami-chan, is it true? Was I really bugged? Yeah. Yeah, looks like someone placed it in your favourite shoes. What? My shoes? That's why you had me take them off. Yeah. Did you buy those shoes, Mio-chan? Uh... Well, well, I... It wasn't from one of your fans, was it? No. I refuse to believe it. But... I'm sorry, but the fact of the matter is that someone bugged you, you can't ignore this anymore. What if it's just a mistake? What if the person who gave it to me didn't know? Do you want to test it then? Yeah. Test it? Yeah. That's right, we're going to pretend like you haven't noticed you've been bugged yet, then you'll pull a fast one on them. We'll stage a fake call and you'll act like you've just set a date with some guy. If the culprit's listening, they might show up, and when they do, I'll chase them down and get some answers. Like I say, guys, I, I'm not, like, messing around. I do believe in ghosts. It's just the fact of it is, is that, at the end of the day, I'm cool with the ghosts. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Till it's actually physically causing you harm, then, you know. Anyway, back to the game, man. Mio-chan. Mio-chan, this is starting to get dangerous for you. Let's get to the bottom of this together. Mm. Okay, I'll help. Great. Then once you add your shoes on, or have your shoes on, just head outside and I'll give you a call. Okay, now say something about meeting up at Hamaka Hamakita Park and toss in some sappy stuff you'd say to your boyfriend will you hey. totes hammy kita park in 20 minutes i'll see you there i can't wait to see my princey wincy i love you so much ready mio chan mm. I'll be watching from nearby. If someone shady approaches you, I'll come running up immediately. Okay. Is that... That person is clearly trying to take pictures... Or photos of Mio Chan. Okay, time to crack down. Hey. Hey, you. What are you doing? Hey. What, well, hey? And a chase. You won't get away. It looks a lot like her friend. Would you say the person she kept calling mom?
This guy's like... This guy's like, why do you have to keep jumping over me twice? Your, your Mio Chan Senpai. Meek, Milky Sun, right? You're the stalker. Don't you move. I'm calling Mio Chan over and you're going to explain everything. Yagami chan, huh? The M Milky Senpai? No way, it can't be. Please don't tell me those bug shoes are. Yeah, they are. Milky Senpai bought them for me when we when we went out. Well damn. Hey. Hey, why'd you bug Mio Chan shoes? Why'd you go around leaking her info all over chatter? I was threatened by Mio. Hmm? Threatened? What are you talking about? This girl debuted barely six months ago, but she already got so big she nearly sells out her shows. Guess the Ditsy weirdo persona really took off. If I didn't do something, she would have outshined me in no time. And that's why I wanted to expose the other side of you, the ugly side. Show everyone that innocent little idol's true colours and plaster it all over the internet. Then every fan who's ever looked up to you would hate you and think you're the grossest. What? What? The only thing is, no matter how many times I listened in, you never once showed another side. You'd watch your senpai's videos every night, cheering them on, and every time you called your friends, you always sang your rival's praises. I couldn't believe it. I searched as hard as I could, but I couldn't find a speck of dirt on you. So you changed plans and pretended to be a stalker. You put her personal info out on Chatter like you had an inside view into her life. You hoped Mio Chan would get scared so badly by the stalker that she'd quit being an idol, right? That's right. <clears throat> you could tell, tell us all about it down at the station. Damn it. Let me go. Hey. Come along quietly. Uh. But why? Mio chan. I thought it would be her, and it looked like her anyway behind the mask. The senpai she admired so much was the one behind all this. Can't blame her for being shocked by it. She might need some time before she's okay. <coughs> hmm? Hmm. What's that? Ah, it's Mio Chan. Mio Chan. Tanibu Kuro Tan Saitama Tan Toyama Tan. Why are you all here? You haven't been yourself lately, have you, Mio Chan? It was because of that chatter stalker, right? We've been so worried about you this whole time, we couldn't bear the thought of our Mio Chan, our Mio Mio in danger. So we've decided every night we're going to pick you up and see you off. What? Well, what? We'll protect you, Mio-chan, even if you have... Even if we have to put our lives on the line. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, but... The whole stalker thing's all okay now. Everyone... Everything's fixed. No way. Really? Mm-hmm. So I'm okay, honest. Good, that's such a relief to hear. Yeah, thank goodness we get to see Mio-chan's smiling face again. You said it, her smile and her songs give us our energy. My smile? Bye now, Mio-chan, see you at your next show. Sounded like quite the commotion. Yagami-chan, I just... I don't think I can be sad right now. Huh? huh? My incredible fans are waiting for me. So I, I can't just mope around, can I? Yeah, yeah I guess you're right. <laughs> okay, then. I'm on my way to become the greatest idol there is. I have to do my very best. 
I was a little worried about you there for a minute, Mio-chan, but looks like you're gonna be just fine. <clears throat> that was another side case we did. You reached, you've reached max friendship with Miu, your status as a regular has increased. Circumstances aside, Miu Chan's stalker problem is over. I'm just glad to see her back on her feet. I'd like to talk to Emily Chan again. Think I'll head back over to Kill's Bite. Emily Chan. Emily Chan. Nakata. Oh, Nakata. <sighs> You're shagging me, not Nakata. Hey! What brings you by, Nakata? What? I mean, having drinks with girls? You into girls, Nakata? Huh? What? Girls, do you like them? How do I answer this the right way? <laughs> Of course I like girls, wouldn't be at a girl's bar if I didn't. You're honest, Nakata. I like honest guys. Huh? Oh, do you? Nakata, I'm a human lie detector. Are you serious? You can tell if someone's lying, really. Yeah. Sure can. That's why I was wondering if you were really here for fun, Nakata. Crap. Didn't she, did she figure out that I'm here undercover? <laughs> See you around. That girl is a walking mystery. You What have we got here? Let's have a drink together. Cheers. <laughs> Guess what happened? Hmm. <clears throat> Welcome, sir. This is your, this your first time. What do I call you? It's me. Call me Yagami. Yes, Pleased to meet you, Yagami son. You can call me Aya Ayaha. Yeah. Pleasure's all mine, Ayaha Cham. All right, let's celebrate this beautiful new friendship. Clink, clink. Huh? Uh, what? <laughs> what? You live under a rock or something? It means cheers, you geezer. Raise your glass. <laughs> clink, clink. Yeah. Clink, clink. <clears throat> So, you go out for drinks often, Yagami-san. Hmm. There's a local place I like to pop into, but in Yokohama, not so much. Ah, oh, lame. Such a waste. You're a big drinker, Ayaha-chan. Of course, drinking with friends is like what I'm all about. I've been known to get a little rowdy at clubs too, and I drink at home all the time. Oh yeah, and there's nothing like drinking on the road in Kitahama while staring out at the ocean. Not to mention, I'm always down to flirt, you know. I see. If you love drinking that much, this might actually be the perfect job for you. <laughs> totally. As a matter of a fact, I'm in charge of the cocktails at this place. Me and the girls think I'm all up together. Oh. Wow, so you're behind all that, Ayaha-chan. It's a blast to get to make up drinks with my favourite pals. Then we just party. We all get super excited with any when anyone comes up with a really cute cocktail. It's so awesome. 
It's like, is this for real? I get to have the best work friends and we all have laugh. We all laugh and cry and make amazing memories together. I'd be crazy to pass that up. We're even planning a trip together next spring. <laughs> Sounds like you have a uh, youthful spirit. Gotta live your best life. Anyway, let's start getting back into gear. Clink, clink. <clears throat> projection selections. You use the left analog stick to decide how much emotion to project. The stronger your projection, the more spice you'll add to conversations. Will you decide to play it cool or heat things up? The choice is yours. <laughs> clink, clink, woo. <laughs> You're pretty cool to be around. I'm digging the vibes you bring. Drinks are on me tonight. Yay. <laughs> oh, seriously? Well, all right. That's it. From now on, we're buddies, Yagami-san. Separate in flesh, united in spirit. Now let's get fucked up. Cheers. Cheers. Anyway, damn it, I drank too much. Okay, now, man. She sounds like that, bro. Jagami san, what are you having? What it I just get? took me by surprise, I think. Want to try this? Cheers. I'm starting to feel it. Let's get this party started. <clears throat> so, about the other day. <laughs> hmm. Uh, it's gotten so cold lately, hasn't it? I could go for some hot pots, extra spicy too. Like Kimichi hot pot. Hey, what kind of hot pot do you like, Yagami-san? Huh? Yagami-san, you're always here by yourself. What kind of people do you usually hang out with? Friends, co-workers... Co-workers, you say? I'm dying to know about them, Yagami-san. Oh, you should bring them here sometime. I'll make it worth their while. <coughs> hey, do you like theme parks, Yagami-san? We all went to one together the other day. It was a total blast. Kind of fucked up there, but some fresh air, hmm. big guy. <clears throat> it is where it is. Dear. Right, fighting commence mode. Then we're back. We're back. Let's go. Yeah. You can watch the stream too, Ghost. Yeah. Right. Oh, we've got enemies this side now. Great. What a counter, man. Fuck me. Wow. 
What a counter that was. Oh, we can upgrade some skills. Let's go, man. Alright, so we want to upgrade Secret of the Champion. The effects of Champion's Hidden Arts will remain even after swapping styles. Activating the Hidden Arts of the style you swap into will reset the effect time. When Champion's Hidden Arts is active, press the down D-pad button. Awesome. Aruko's back. Aruko-chan. Yagami-san, what do you want to do? What should I get? I treat. Cheers. 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 I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> What's amazing is... What have we got here? Want to try this? Cheers. <laughs> so, about the other day. Hmm. A few really threw him back. Today I may have mentioned this, but the cocktails we serve here are Girls by Originals. You'll only find them here. I grabbed the helm and made them on my own. Pretty amazing, aren't I? What should I get? Let's have a drink together. Cheers. Guess what happened? The other day, Haruka and I went out for drinks after work, and that girl can seriously hold her liquor. 
Never thought anyone could drink me under the table. Anyway, what about you, Yagami-san? Are you a man that can handle his hooch? What have we got here? Wanna try this? Cheers. <laughs> so, about the other day. Okay, let's leave the bar, come back. See ya. Very back and forth this one, I know. And it's very repetitive. But, let's just say we are one away from actually getting the mission done. Ah, Yagami-san, welcome. I'm totally sorry, Yagami-san. We're kind of packed today, so I can't chat one-on-one. -on -one. What's that? Hey, Kawaguchi. It's that captain. What was it again? Captain Cop. It's a legendary tokusatsu show. The rare Henshin stick was for a sale. Was for sale at a pawn shop in the town over. Only 150,000 yen, but my bonus wasn't much this year, so I couldn't afford it. <clears throat> you some kind of dumb kid, what the hell? Talking about this henshin stuff at your age. You've got to watch Captain Cop Sakamoto-san, it's all online. This is why you never see results at work. You think someone with the mind of a child can run a business. This has nothing, nothing to do with my work. I'm talking about my hobbies. Why do you feel the need to lecture me? Hey, you youngun. Huh? Huh? Me? You think Kawaguchi's full of shit? He's obsessed with this kid's show and is getting himself worked up over some toy. Um. Uh, well, I don't really know what to say. A person's character comes through in their work. That's why you shouldn't have a hobby you're embarrassed of, right? Huh. Uh huh. Oh, come on, Sakamoto san. Don't involve Yagami san in your weird nonsense. But Kawa Kawaguchi still watches a kids show. If you want to feel. If you want to fit into society, you have to watch period dramas. Heck, even newer dramas will do. Then you can strike up real conversations with our clients. Not interested. I'm not about to change my hobbies just because of work. Excuse me, Kawaguchi, you little 
and you call yourself a businessman, a man of business always puts his clients first and now we're just going in circles, I've had enough. Come on, don't argue here. You're killing the mood for everyone here. Jeez. Hey now, no fighting to each his own, am I right? Of course I am. Now clink clink. Well, if you say so, a a ha champ. You're off the clock when you're here. Whoever has the most fun wins. Now let's get this party started. Cheers. Cheers. Few a a a ha a a ha chan managed to defuse the situation before it blew up into a fight. Take care, Ayaha Chan. I had lots of fun today, I'll be back soon. Ayaha Chan, that Captain Cobb stuck stick is a secret, okay? If another fan finds out they might swoop it up. <laughs> well even don't you worry, I like totally don't even care about it. See you later then. You really saved the day, Ayaha Chan. I wasn't sure how that was going to end up, but they had fun in the end. I mean, like, if you're here to drink, then don't kill the mood, you know? What's the point of life if you don't enjoy it? I guess so. Well, yeah, I guess. I'm a real party person. I can't stand it when people don't get along. That's why I like treasure the friends I can drink with and have fun. Oh. That's so? A party person, huh? No, no. Hey, anyway, since it's just us two now... How about a little drink? Yeah. Sure, I could go for another. Cool, in that case... <clears throat> clink, clink. You've become better friends with... Ayaha. Ayaha. Alright, fighting time, man. Fighting time. Yagami san, what are you having? What should I get? I treat. Cheers. <laughs> What's amazing is. What have we got here? Wanna try this? 
tears. Now we're talking. Guess what happened? Hmm. So you've got one new message or something like that? <coughs> Said Harley Heaton has received a new message. I think we go out and then go back in. Thanks for so the drink. Do the side mission again. <laughs> By the way, is a yahaha. Ayahaha. <laughs> Ayaha Chan here today. Hi. Nope, she took the train out today. She seemed pretty excited, wonder what for. I guess Aya Chan Ayaha Chan's out today. If she took the train, maybe I can find her near the station. I should look around Jinai station when I'm feeling up to it. Alright. back <clears throat> I'll be back said fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger mates I was say, it was on the dialogue of the game <laughs> so I copied it uh, Jedi station eh is that in
guys. Some more bad guys. That was quick. Fair enough. What a waste. That's a a ya ha ha a ya ha 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 ha. That's a ya ha chan. What's she doing? I should ask. What's up? Captain Cop, change. Hiya, Hachan. Wait, this is... I'm gonna show everyone. Hey, wait! Hey, you hot Sean, I should bring that back, shouldn't I? Please, y'all give me gotcha. some. Got it. Okay, so we're running after a kid for a fucking toy, man. Wow. Oh shit, this is cool. Come on, give it back, kid. Oh, man. Don't we buy him another one? What are you whining about? You think you can just take someone else's things? I am sorry. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to the woman you took it from. You got that? Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Hmm, wait. Is this thing... It's an ultra-rare Captain Cop stick. Captain Cop. I remember that name from before. Why would Ayahar Chan have this? Hey, I should say sorry to the lady, right? Yeah. Yeah, you go do that. I'll call her up right now. Yeah, give me son. So, uh, how'd it go? Hey, yeah, so I explained everything and he gave it back. Phew, thank freaking goodness. Hi, lady, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh no, it's totally fine. <coughs> I'm the one who dropped it. 
So, uh, do you like Captain Cop? Ah, come on, don't be ridiculous. It's a gift for someone. Really cool. Oh, really cool. What does that mean? A gift? Seriously. Yeah. I want to give it to Kawaguchi-san, you know? Hmm? Weren't you just in tears over that thing? And didn't it cost, what, 150,000 yen? You're just going to give that to him. Ah, well, the thing is... I actually, uh, like Captain Cop. Huh? What? Really? Yeah, it's kind of my reason for living. I have every DVD in the series. Oh, and I have all the figures, all the figures too. But all I'm missing is the first Captain Cop super rare stick. He was a little too brutish of a protagonist, so the writers killed him off quickly. Then a super handsome replacement came along. But I love the first one. He was so passionate. And after he died, his popularity really skyrocketed. And now he's a favourite in all the polis. <laughs> they stopped producing the sticks. And now it's gotten really hard to find. When I finally got my hand on it, I was like, wow, I'm vibing hard right now. Ah. Sorry, I got kind of sucked into the moment. That turn off for you? Nope. Of course not. To each their own, right? Yeah, well, good. <coughs> hey, I thought you said before that you weren't into this stuff. I mean, it's embarrassing, isn't it? Like, the whole Ochaki things is not for me, you know. Hmm. I mean, it is kind of out of field, out of left field. I've been into tokusatsu and anime since forever. I was never the type of girl to read shoji mangas. When I was a kid, I'd always play with all the boys. Then the other girls would be like, Aya's a boy lover, she's such a flirt. Then they stopped hanging out with me. Bunch of jerks. So in high school, I started to change up my style to be more trendy like the other girls. I started reading fashion magazines I didn't even like. I'm listening to pop groups I couldn't care less about. The whole hip and stylish image that was my own henshin costume I made up to protect myself. I had no idea. The truth is the whole party persona is a total lie. I don't have a boyfriend or even have any friends. My favourite thing is sitting at home by myself and watching anime and tokusatsu. But there are some days I look in the mirror and hate who I am. Hold on. I think you deserve to be really proud of who you are. Huh? huh? I feel a lot closer to you this way. In a way, I get to see who you really are, Ayaha chan You think so? Yeah. I do. Even at the bar, you shouldn't have to try so hard to hide who you are. I think you can show that side of yourself too, right? But, but everyone's got different hobbies. You said it best yourself. I a hard chance to each their own, right? Uh, imagine the conversation you could have had with those customers from last time if you didn't have to keep your hobbies a secret. <coughs> yeah, you're totally right. I should be proud of the stuff I like. That's how, I, how it ought to be. Yeah. I think so too. I think the world is going to love the real I a hard chance. Thank you, Yagami-san. All right, I don't care if every everyone sees my nerdy side. I'm going to go hunt down the next collectible I can find. In fact, my collectible raider raider's going off right now. Beep, bop, this way. <coughs> okay. Back at it again.
What should I get? Let's have a drink together. Cheers. I'm starting to feel it. I think I might need to go back to Yokohama 99 so we can refresh the day. Do this first, though. Okay. So what does it say? Let's have a look. So to Ayaha at the girls bar. She's not there at the minute. So let's go to Yagami's... Well, Yokohama 99. All right, let's go back to the location. Hey Yagami san, welcome. I never would have imagined you were a Captain Cop fan too, Ayaha chan. What a pleasant surprise. I've been a fan since the very first one. He started as a second gen fan, right, Kawaguchi? Yes, is that a problem? Aww. Well the community split over that, but you but since you're a first gen fan, I'll let it slide. Damn, you're pretty hardcore. Yeah. Well, sounds like you're already getting into it. Hey, when are you going to jump on the Captain Cop train, Sakamoto-san? Never, that's when. I'll take my period drama and even the newer dramas. Thank you very much. Oh, he's gone. 
I saw Sakamoto Sam watching Captain Cop. During his lunch break, he was even tearing up. What? For real? Yep, actually, he was already on the final episode on his lunch break the next day. He probably kept watching after he got home. <laughs> so he went in head first then. So have you started watching it yet, Yagami-san? Huh? Well, it's just not really my thing. We can't have that. You've got to watch it too, Yagami-san. I have every episode you can borrow them. Um... No, it's just I'm really busy. Plus, I don't even have a TV at home. Then I'll just have to lend you a TV and a DVD player too. Huh? What? But then how are you going to watch it? <laughs> I have a dedicated set of DVDs for the sole purpose of spreading the word. Actually, I should buy another TV and DVD player to spread it harder. Whoa, you're not joking, are you? Never under underestimate At Otaku power, I guess. I... Ayaha chan, let's do the thing. Ooh, hell yeah. Hmm? What thing? Captain Cops, henshin pose. Hey, why don't you do it with us, Yagami san? No, wait, what? Do I have to? Come on, on your feet. Once you do it, you'll understand how awesome it is. Okay, here we go, ready. Captain Cop. Change. <laughs> Ooh, that was really... That was seriously super freaking awesome. Amazing. Ayaha-chan, doesn't this remind you of that scene in the first movie when Captain Cops won three, three all, are all together? Totally. Yagami-san lo looks just like the third too. Huh? Oh, do I? Guess we're all Captain Cop buddies now. They just made me one of them. Which means... We're all BFFs now. <laughs> this party can't stop now. Come on, everyone. We're getting fucked up. Cheers. You reach Max friendship with Ayaha. Your status as a regular has increased. We're on the final bit now. Iha Chan seems happier now that she's honest about who she is. Feels like this whole thing brought us closer. Hopefully I get a chance to talk to Emily Chan some more. Better head back to Girls Bite. Alright. So Agami's talked to all the hostesses. Or the people on the bar. He should now be able to talk to Emily Chan. I keep coming here but I still haven't a chance to ask Emily Chan about the professor. I need to change that. Emily Chan. Ah, Emily Chan. <laughs> Emily Chan doesn't seem like herself, you know what might be wrong. I think someone's been stalking her lately. A stalker, are you sure? Hi. Yeah, she says she's... She says she thinks someone's been following her every night. That's a problem, isn't there anyone who'll walk her home? We keep telling her we'd walk her home, but she always says no because she doesn't want us... or want to put us in danger. <laughs> Emily Chan can be really stubborn sometimes. <clears throat> she refuses to listen. Hmm. That's so, huh? I don't like the sound of a stalker one bit. Pretty worried about Emily Chan. She might turn me down if I offer to walk her home. Plus, I might scare off the stalker by being there. Guess I'll have to tell Emily Chan. If someone gives off a stalker vibe, I'll have a chat with them. More like you'll knock them out, man.
Right, we're tailing Emily John. Okay, can't let her catch me, tail hunker. How is she seeing me from that angle, bro? Where did she go? Oh, mate. That guy looks shady as hell. Really? He's got a knife. This isn't good. Hey. Wait. Wait, I'm scared. Don't I'm leave. freaked out. Please don't leave. She's right, I can't just leave her here like this. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I, I think so. He was that guy. Hmm. No idea, probably the stalker. Emily Chan. Emily Chan, can I please walk you home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Thanks. I appreciate it, Nakata. Yeah. Not a problem. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry, you know, for not remembering your name. Don't sweat it, Japanese names 
can be tricky especially if you've been overseas for a while no, no that's what that's not why oh. oh it's not it wasn't because i was overseas i've actually been living in japan for quite a while it's because i wasn't interested in you nakata it's because i just wasn't into you nakata huh right gotta say it's pretty refreshing to hear it straight like this nakata. So what was your real name again, Nakata? It's me. It's Yagami. Takayuki Yagami. Takayuki. Takayuki Yagami. Mm-hmm, got it. Mind if I call you Takayuki? Yeah. Sure, whatever's easiest for you. Okay, Takayuki it is. You're a pretty nice guy, Takayuki. I like you. Huh? You, uh, like me? Yeah. Yep, but I love Nakata way more. Nakata, ah, your dog, right? Yep, my Nakata's so freaking cute. Guess she likes me a little more, but I'm still outranked by a pet. Excuse me. Oh, Emily Chan, so for next time. Wanna grab a drink with me at the bar? If that's cool with you, I mean. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'd love to have a chat with you, Takayuki. Great, looking forward to it. Me too? Okay, bye. Finally getting some time to talk to her now. Finally getting some time to talk to her. Now I've just got to ask about the professor. Patiently waiting for that appeal to go up. I'm assuming it will happen when we finish the mission maybe. That's probably what will happen. Alright, so we want to go right back to the girl's bite Sorry, my bad. Fine, fuck it. Enemies down here. the final bit of the mission. Takayuki, you came. You've made me one happy girl. Emily Chan. I'm here to see you again. Awesome. When someone specifically request, requests... I don't know why I've got a problem with that word in this stream. Requests one of us, we score a patron fee. Huh? Wait, I thought you didn't accept patron fees because this is a girls bar. <laughs> We're supposed to give that spiel, but if we get tons of requests, the bonus is pretty nice. No, know what I mean. <laughs> Emily Chan, what the heck? Don't say that stuff out loud, it's supposed to be secret. 
Sorry. Classic Emily Chan for you. Takayuki, let's have a nice long chat. And buy lots of drinks, obviously. Just got to get on Emily Chan's good side. And once I do, I'll bring up the professor. Takayuki, what will it be? This is my chance to talk to Emily Chan. I'd better order us some drinks. What would you like to drink? Let's go with the Indigo what Campus. I I treat. Not bad, Takayuki. Cheers. Cheers. I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> Let's chat, cha uh, Takayuki. So, not the other day. The other day, Ayaha and I had an anime viewing party. She shared all her favourites with me. It made me so happy to see her like that. Mm. Um, wait, actually, what's Ayaha's favourite character? character's catchphrase again? Hey. Yeah, yeah, Captain Cop Change. Ayaha and I totally struck that pose while we watched it. You should come to our next viewing party, Takayuki. <laughs> You've gotten pretty close with all the other girls here, Takayuki. It's like you're already a regular. Which means, question time. What are the names of the girls here? Okay. We've got... Haruko. Ayaha. And... Are you correct? Correct, you'd never forget them, would you? Just don't forget about me either. I can already tell we're gonna have a good time. That was fun. Awesome. Emily Chan. Sakuyuki, what'll it be? What would you like to drink? What have we got here? Try this. I like this one. Cheers. Now we're talking. <laughs> Let's chat, Takayuki. Hey Takayuki, you're a detective, right? What exactly does a does a detective do? Wow, really? Tracking down cheaters. I can't stand people who cheat. I hope you're not one of them, Takayuki. Just the other day, Haruko was chatting up this customer and being way chummier than usual. I asked her if she knew the guy and get this, it was her dad. Any man who comes down to the bar to have a drink with his daughter is a damn fine dad in my book. <laughs> Dang Takayuki, so you knew about Haruko and her dad. Guess I don't have to worry about them now. That's awesome. That was fun. Awesome. Emily Chan. Okay, okay. What would you like to drink? What should I get? I treat. Not bad, Takayuki. Cheers. I'm starting to feel it. So, about the other day. <laughs> wow! Hmm. The other day, Mayu's fans were calling her Mayu Mayu. It's one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Do you have any kind of cute nicknames, Takayuki? Mm -hmm. 
Tuck, huh? That is pretty cute. Maybe I'll start calling you that, Tuck. Takayuki, ready for a pop quiz. Tell me the full name of the regular here you talk to all the time. Right, totally even when her personal info got leaked, she never once doubted her fans, did she? I admire that part of her so much, it makes me want to go all in on something I really love. Alright, do our usual. I'll stop by again. What are you up to? Hey. Yeah. Just doing that hard push on there and what the shit is on the screen Alright. Fair enough. You're here! Because I've got my headset in yeah. into my phone, so I can Ah. Wow, so you're an actual detective. I'm in the middle of an investigation right now, as a matter of fact. Huh? Seriously? What for? Afraid that's a secret. Huh? What? You can't just dangle that in front of me. There's something going on right now. Guess you'll just have to talk to me more if you want to find out, huh? <laughs> You're on. I want to talk with you even more, Takayuki. That really kicked the mood up a notch, I think. I better ride this momentum. Emily Chan. Hey Emily Chan, there's something I wanted to ask you. Oh yeah? What is it? I actually happen to also be an outside counsellor at Serio High School in Ajincho. Whoa, did you didn't know you did that kind of stuff too. So I heard one of our students was coming here. You were the one serving him, right? Emily Chan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Kid totally duped me. Never never would have thought he was in high school. Didn't that student mention anything about a Didn't that student mention anything about a professor? Professor. Mm. Uh mm -hmm. what's wrong? When customers talk to me about stuff, they're trusting me to keep things between us. That's why I can't go blabbing out blabbing about my conversations with other customers well is there a way around that this time if that kid's if that kid gets roped into some shady business then it's kind of a big deal no sorry i can't say anything i see i really am sorry nope no i'm the one who's sorry for asking weird questions i think that'll do it for today Become better friends with Emily. Awesome. You should get some fresh air, big mm. guy. See ya. Uh. All right. Fight mode commence. for the final times instead of walking into st into fucking boards one moment guys let me just sort this Okay, that'll do.
可以去拿。Way to win a battle, that. All right, I feel better already. Beating up some motherfuckers. Let's chat, Takayuki. Guess what happened? Wow. Hmm. Hey, Takayuki, you're a detective, right? All right. We've already had this question. His name was Kentaro Lucky Mori. Hmm. No. <laughs> Haruko Ayaha Mayu. Okay, we're getting close, guys. We are getting close. Now we're talking. <laughs> What's amazing is... Oh, really? Hmm. this question as well. Hmm. Oh, I must have fucked that up then. My bad. Hmm. What? I'm sure I said that right, no? It's um, a choice that I made <laughs> on this, um, it's like a mini game and I got it wrong. Mm. It's all good though. Emily Chan. Okay, okay. What would you like to drink? All right, let's go again. What should I get? Let's have a drink. Not bad, Takayuki. Cheers. Cheers. Starting to feel it. <laughs> so, about the other day. Wow. Hmm. 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 
I put Captain Cook, didn't I? Not Captain Cook. Fuck's sake. Uh, okay. Oh, mate. Shintaro. Happy. Mori. Mm. Sure, that's his name, bro. Mm. Captain. Cop. Change. Nice. There we go. Okay, we've gotten to the top anyway. So even if we fucked up twice. Alright, so leave, leave the building. Dear. Let's come back in. Emily Chan, any update on that stalker situation? Hmm. Um, about that, Takayuki. Hmm? Emily Chan, what's wrong? You don't look so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. To me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about that professor you mentioned. Ah, so you're going to tell me what you know? No. No, that's not it. Actually, after you walked me home, I found a weird letter in my mailbox. Weird how? What did it say? Don't tell anyone about what you say about the professor. You talk, you're dead. You talk to the police, you're dead. What was that? What? <sighs> I'm really scared. Is someone going to kill me? If you're getting threats about the professor, then this may be connected to that serial student who came to the bar. Hey. Emily Chan, if you tell me that student's name, I might be able to do something about it. I, I can't, I can't betray my customer like that. Besides, we're not even sure that kid's the one who sent the letter, right? Gotcha. Alright, in that case, I'll do what I can right now. What do you mean right now? That stalker might come around tonight, I'll look around outside and find him. Okay, got it. Thanks, Takayuki. That looks like the guy, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Is that... He's not wearing a hood, but his features are a match. Alright. Hey. Hey. Huh? The hell do you want? You think the guy who's fo been following El... You the guy who's been following Emily Chan around? Oh, I get it. You're that guy who was poking his nose around last time. Why were you chasing after Emily Chan? You know you just waltzed into our trap, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? That the guy... Ashi... Ashi... Ashihara... The one getting a little too close to Emily. Yep, he's been asking about the professor. Hey... What did she tell you? What did she tell you? Beats me. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter what he knows if we just kill him and bury him. Kill him? You serious, Hazamar? Son? Ashihara, you've got to be a part of this too. You want to join the Neo Kahin gang, don't you? Hey. Ashihara, was it? You the kid from Suryu that went to the girls bar. Don't do anything you'll regret. If you keep this crap up, you won't be able to turn back. Turn back? Ha, screw school. I'm not going back there. If I join the Neo Kahin gang, I can have all the money and women I want. And I can use violence to get it. That's just fine by me. Damn straight. Emily, Emily will be all yours. You bury this bastard. And a smooth sailing from here. 
Yeah. Damn. Wish I could have changed your minds before the cops get involved. But it looks like it's too late for you. knocked out by a drunk guy mate hey hey you told Emily Chan you knew who the professor was is that right I uh who is it do you actually know Wow. Well, um, when Hazama-san took me to the Neo Kahin gang, hideout Koga, one of the officers, was on the phone. The person on the other line was the professor. What was that? What? So Koga was talking to the professor. After Koga-san hung up, he said, that brat, brat, Koga thinks the professor's a brat. Oh, yeah. He sure does. The professor's a brat, huh? That means the professor must be around the age where a person like Koga would call someone that. Hey. What else do you know about the professor? Nothing aside from Koga san. Not even the officers know who he is know who it is. So you guys were after Emily Chan because you told her all that. Yeah, no one in the Neo Kahin gang's allowed to ask about who the professor is but since I fucked up and ran my mouth Hazuma san said I might get my ass picked off I see so you wanted to kill em Emily Chan and get rid of my of any evidence I know what else Hazuma san said before we killed Emily Chan he'd let me make the most of my time with her you son of a the cops shit I gotta get out of here Come on, man. Let me go. I'll pay you whatever you want, please. I think you need some time to reflect on your actions. What? The cops get to decide what happens to you next. Please, no. Oh, Yagami Sam. Huh? Closing up early tonight. Yeah, about that. Yagami Sam. Mori Sam. Oh, Mori Sam. You're here too. Please forgive me for eavesdropping. I happen to overhear what you and Emily Chan were talking about earlier. That some dangerous person was after her. Hmm. Ah, you heard that. Guess I let my guard down. Because of that, I rented out the entire bar until you got a handle on the situation, just to keep any other suspicious individuals out. Huh? Huh? You rented the whole thing out. It was all for Emily Chan and the girls. I can't believe you do all that. Wait, are you going to be able to take care of the bill? Don't worry, Mori San's loaded. Um. What? Seriously? Mori San who? Are you. Just a businessman who dabbles in many affairs. I've met I've more than enough money for entertainment, so not to worry. So Mori San's actually kind of amazing. Hey, Yagami Tan. Marichi filled me in on the deets. What happened to Emily Tan Stalker? Right, that whole thing. And then obviously he would proceed to tell them. Yeah, so it turned out to be that high school kid after all. It's okay. But everything's all good now. He's been caught and dealt with. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Takayuki. Actually, Takayuki, there's something I have to ask. Yeah, what is it? You came here because of your detective job, right? So that means you never really cared about the girls' bar, did you? What? Huh? 
Ah, I was curious about that too. Were you just here for work or were you actually having a good time? Uh, well, it's true that it began as just work, but I really started to enjoy myself over time. That's so her. Uh, I'm glad to hear it then. Takayuki. Well, Takayuki, I'll be waiting for you. Emily Chan. Emily Chan, you think maybe next time we can at least. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah. Yep, I mean, I think you'd make great... You'd make great boyfriend material, Takayuki. Are you serious? What? For real? Whoa, whoa. Emily-chan. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Hell freaking yes. What? You, you're in love. Wow. Emily-chan, this is... <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Guess that means you'll have to visit the bar more. Got it? <laughs> yeah, now I can see why you're the number one girl here. Everyone seems to go crazy for you. Then show me crazy, I want to see all the crazy you've got. Yeah. Sure, I'll pop in when I'm feeling up to it. Okay, I can't wait. You've reached max friendship with Emily, you're also a full-fledged regular. Yes! About fucking time, man! You've improved your leadership. More school story progress available. Check the school diary for details. We've finally got the appeal to level 5, which basically means we can finish the dance club now. That's great news. Just so that we can progress our other missions. Kazuna Ashihara. The student who went to the girls' bar and attempted to assault... Mochizuki-san has been expelled. It seems he was involved in all sorts of problematic activities beyond this one. No kidding. But still, Koga's choice of words was quite curious. Brat, was it? Yeah. Right. Pretty sure Koga's in his late 30s. So the professor comes off as a brat to him, at least. Then we can assume the age range may be a little larger than expected. But... Exactly, it's likely the professor is actually much younger than we thought. Indeed, this is a huge clue. With a title like Professor, I picture someone with some years under their belts, like Professor Moriarty. Seems like going undercover at the girls bar was worth it. Now that you mention it. Speaking of Yagami-san, did you enjoy yourself at the girls bar? Huh? Uh, why? Forgive me, it's just when you talk about Mochizuki-san, I catch you smiling every so often. It seems like you had a good time. Nope. Nope, definitely just your imagination. Hmm, are you sure about that? There was something very clearly different about the way you were speaking. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Emily Chan, I'd love to see you again, preferably not when I'm on the job. Maybe I'll stop by Girls Bite sometime. Amasawa doesn't have to know about it. Fair enough. Actually gained a connection with someone. Great job, men. Okay, when we can upgrade some skills, which is great. We have Extract Master or Exalted Roller. Or we'll go with the stats actually. Let's go with the stats first. 145. EX Extension Level 3. EX Gauge decreases slower during EX Boost. Awesome. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's obviously save it first. Okay, let's have a look at our school diary. So we have done the boxing gym, we have done the girls bar, we have done the esports e club, we have done the skaters. We're on the last bar of the dance club. 
and we are yet to do the biker gang. So if you ask me, looks very good. I've got the guts level up to level 5, which is the max. So you've got guts, focus and appeal at level 5. Teamwork level 4 is what needs to improve. We'll probably do that through the dance club. Or the bike again. We'll find out one way or the other. We still have got two left to do. Uh, what do I want to do? Got 87% left on that one. Uh, let's have a look. So let's read through all the, the tasks we've done. So we had Between Blood and Booze. That was about a Ruke and a father. Big Shame Hunter, Meow and Milky Hoshiga. Hoshiga Saki. Um, and then obviously the information on that. All this I'm not going to really read out because like I said guys we've already... You know, we've only done it like an hour ago. Maybe a little bit more than that in the stream anyway. Um, Alright. So, still yet to do the biker gang made in heaven. But we can read out the bar with a bite. So, we had Kazani, Kazuna, Ashihara. Third year boy at Serio High. Faked his age to get in a girls bar. Invited into the Neo Kahin gang by a senpai, during which he encounters Koga on the phone with who, who he claims to be the professor. After hanging up, Koga apparently muttered that brat. And then we had Emily S. Mochi or Mochizuki, the most popular girl at Girls Bite at Amasawa's request. I need to extract information from this girl about the professor who had received said info from one of her customers. And we had Kintaro H. Mori. The H stands for Happy, his supposed middle name. I kept forgetting his fucking real, first, well, his first name. The self-professed girls bar bard. By spreading his love of girls bar, of bars, he hopes to make the world a better place. So, going undercover at girls bar, another one of Serio High's Mystery Research Club activities. I know I've, like I said with the other ones, I don't mind doing the school stories because uh, they're big missions and uh, it depends, you know, obviously I don't mind reading it this time. If it was like a side case and we hadn't done it in ages as well, then I would refresh that. I used to say them all, but I realised how much it dragged on in the game. Alright, so it com it's completely unrelated to me being, to my being an outside counsellor or even high school to get altogether, but despite that it's one of my duties as an educator. Is it really though? Anyway, some punk claiming to be a Serio High student told Emily S. Mochizuki, the number one girl there, that he knew the identity of the professor. Can't say for sure if he's lying, so I better look into it. Emily Chan will only talk to customers she's interested in. I need to slowly build up my reputation at the bar and get her to take notice. I think I've finally got an Emily Chan interested in me. There seems to be a stalker giving her trouble. I wasn't able to catch him, so she'll have to keep an eye out. Now things are getting complicated. I need to become better friends with her and ask her about the professor. Emily Chan's stalker was a serial student named Kazuna Ashihira. Ashihara. Ashihara had been going to the Neo Kahin gang and met with Koga. Koga was on the phone at the time and he ended the call. He muttered, That brat. The professor may be younger than I thought. Alright. Again, we're not going to read that because we haven't even gotten into it yet. Okay, so these are the possible. Obviously the dates. So you had Kyoko Hakase, which was the person we saved before from the stalker. Uh, she's apparently a nurse at Serio High School. 
And then we have Emily S. Mochizuki, which is the main girl at um, Girls' Bite. Alright. So we have done everything at, at the moment. We have now got 41 out of 54 side cases. So we have, I think we've done about five cases, I think, on that. But anyway, we have done that. Right, I am going to leave it there, guys, because I want to chill out for the night. Um, it's quite a big case to do anyway. You know, it's quite a big school story mission, and we managed to smash it out. We have still got two that are, um, you know, that we can't do just yet because they've not become available. Uh, we've not finished the Serio High Dance Club yet, so we need to finish that in the next game. Um, we did finish the bar with a bite. Um, and then we need to start on the biker gang. During that time, we have only got one more, which is the... What's it called? I always forget where it is. Teamwork. There you go. We have got level 4 on teamwork. Hopefully we get to level 5 after we beat the school story for the dance club. Um, and then we're going to smash out... Obviously I know we've still got the robotics club to do. Like I said, that is something I will probably look into. I still haven't looked at it yet. It was a very complicated kind of mission. Because you have to like... It's, it's like a very strategic type of game that you have to kind of do as a mini game to complete. So that's something I am going to look into. But yeah, we have done everything we can do. I know it was a bit repetitive, guys. But that is literally what we have to do. Seeing as we have done every other side... Well, we haven't done every side mission. Um... But that was obviously a lot, a big part of the side mission was in the uh, bar, which we managed to do by progressing it. Um, I had got four, so I got four side missions from um, Yagami dating, what's her name? Was it Kyoka Akasi? No, that's not the one. It was... Minato Tado. So you got four side missions by doing all of that and you know getting Yagami to data. I assume we'll have the same kind of thing with the other two um, dates that Yagami needs to go on. And then we need to also find out who the last date that Yagami needs to do. So we finish all the side missions. Um, yeah, we're looking pretty good now, guys. We have not forgot about the uh, the VR either. Um, it won't even let me show it on the screen because we're in the school. But one of the tasks is to defeat the rivals in VR Sogoroku. Sogoroku. So... Again, again, we need to get play passes. That's the main reason we haven't done that yet. We have beaten quite... Um, I think that was, we've beaten like two opponents. Two or three opponents. So we need to go back to the skate park at some point. So I'll probably do that off stream. Get a bunch of um, points by doing them. Um, make sure I've got enough play passes. And then we must beat the people with it. Well, we're playing against anyway guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next stream peace out